Good evening friends. Today I am going to talk to you about the simplest and the commonest procedure that we as spine surgeons do. This is called microdiscectomy. Lumbar disc prolapse is the commonest problem that men and women face from early life to late adulthood. In this a disc ruptures and then comes into the spinal canal leading to uh, pressure on the nerve roots and the thecal sac. This can lead to numbness, tingling, weakness or bowel bladder symptoms. When it causes sudden large disc prolapse, then there is a possibility of something called cauda equina in which the bowel bladder and the perianal lesion becomes numb. That's a medical emergency. However, when patients has persistent symptoms due to a disc prolapse, causing pain in one leg or the other leg with numbness and tingling, with intractable pain or persisting pain not being relieved by conservative management then we opt for a surgical option which is called microscopic discectomy this is the gold standard in this we make a very small incision of seven to eight millimeters and through a tube we enter uh, through the muscles and reach the spinous process in the lamina of the spine and with a tiny hole then we are able to reflect uh, the thecal sac and the nerve root and take the disc prolapse out. The benefit of this procedure is that there is a very quick recovery. The patient stays less than a day or they can be discharged in the evening itself. And uh, the risk and complications of this surgery is less than 1%. So whenever a patient has a disc prolapse and is in pain and is not being relieved by conservative method, which is the commonest method of treatment, because 90% of disc prolapse will heal on its own. Only those 10% of patients who do not heal, who have progressive pain, who develop neurological weakness or leg weakness, or develop bowel or bladder symptoms will need surgery. I think that you should not delay surgery too much if all these symptoms persist and conservative treatment have failed. Thank you very much.